Today I'm uh, going to show you what's inside of uh, some cheap wireless lavalier microphone. So we'll not do a test or intro or an audio quality test on these microphones. I'm just showing you what I've got here. It's a used product and as you can see it's a kind of a generic box. It comes with some accessories like a micro microphones, two microphones, a lapel mic, another lapel mic here. I don't know if this is identical. Looks like there are two identical microphones. Uh, okay, and um, of course it's a condenser or a capacitive microphone. Let me see what's underneath. Probably it's just some plastic housing. Okay, um, yeah, it's so a capacitor microphone, uh, it's not the tiniest one, which is a good thing because it has some surface like a membrane, it's larger so it can pick up some sound and I can see the wiring here, so it's just a little condenser microphone here connected to this connector, so it's the simple stuff probably same thing here into these things I've seen a, a video of this product recorded um, the user posted two videos on his Instagram account so I could listen to the audio quality so it was okay clear uh, it was cutting in and out I think it was um, because of the over modulation or maybe uh, the receiver was too far I didn't like that so let me show you what's inside because uh, that was the purpose of the video today to show you what's inside. So I got these two receivers, uh, I mean transmitters, one is here, there's another one that I took apart so to look what's in, to find out how they built it and the receiver which has actually, it's a diversity receiver, it's two receivers in one like it can receive two channels at once and I'll look into the PC board in a bit uh, it uses two AA batteries so the customer gave me this one with uh, very cheap Costco type batteries and um, I noticed that the frequency range is about 100 megahertz let me check uh, no actually let me, let me check so if I press set button, 83, 86, 89, yeah, it's 10 megs. So that's it. Uh, it's pretty narrow band. I mean, uh, the tuning range is uh, not very big. And the other one, it was set for 670 to 680. Same thing, three meg spacing here. And it broadcasts a low power, very low power. I could not measure, but I'll show you what shows on the scope. This is what I see uh, on the little old monitor. It's really weak signal, but it's digital. That, I was surprised that's not analog. I assume that uh, these microphones are all analog and I'm going to get some uh, hiss and fading and all sort of stuff but no this is digital signal back to the receiver so the receiver has this uh, this is actually a sticker there's nothing uh, behind this is the sticker no LEDs uh, behind that label thingy it's just to distinguish the receiver from the transmitter but look at the PC board this is a uh, cheap stuff and if you look at the the solder right here, let me zoom in, use uh, the phone the other lens, if you look at the antenna solder like uh, the splatter here, it's, it, I don't know, they did not do a good job at reflowing here, so I have to reflow that thing. And like I said, there are uh, two receivers built in. U2 and U1, each one with 
their own filter or looks like a crystal probably synthesizer built in the same chip let me check what chip is that can I oh my camera is <laughs> reversed that's okay um, I don't know why uh, Oh, actually, it's because I'm looking. I thought, I thought, but I'm looking at the the little I see is upside down. Let me check again. Okay. Twenty-four megs crystal oscillator there. Twenty-four five seven six. Five seven six. So. Probably the uh, preset frequency is somehow set. I have no idea how they select which frequency range from which receiver the signal comes from. And uh, I'm not sure how they process the digital signal. If it's uh, audio straight out of this receiver. So I never I never looked at this board so I don't know what those ICs are. I'm just recording. Looks like a regulator or something, like a, some power supply, I'm not sure. Uh, maybe uh, from the battery takes the voltage and uh, converts it into a stable 5 volts, I'm not sure. And this could be the our audio, the audio output. And you have the um, monitor. Uh, it's a monitor connector and an output connector. So I, I listen to the audio, it doesn't sound great on this uh, spectrum analyzer that I have here. Uh, I would have to use uh, headphones when I get home. And also has some sort of a, a volume control, but this volume control is not effective. It's like uh, only when I'm very close to the turn off position, I can sense that it drops the volume, so it's adjustable, but it's not linear. It's some weird adjustment. I don't know. Maybe it's faulty, or maybe. Uh, the monitor I'm using, the audio monitor, is not really great. So that's the other side of the PC board. So that's the receiver. And I'm, like I said, I'm, I'm going to resolder the antenna. So these antennas were bent. And, but let me show you the transmitter. So the transmitter is a bit different. And you see here, it has... Um, Synthesizer. I'm not sure if it's the same. I see. Looks like the same manufacturer, but not the same. I see. Can I see the IC? I'm using a phone to record my video, so... You can pause the video if you are curious what what these people use into this circuit. Then uh, this is the frequency selector. Probably is this IC is the one that is generating the code, like a 4017 type of IC or maybe not maybe just a display maybe this is just a display and select select and maybe the data goes to the, this uh, synthesizer to generate different frequency within that frequency band but I don't know how uh, how they set it which is channel A and which is channel B now the funny thing is look at the antenna because the customer keeps spinning this antenna there's like a free spinning you see it's, it's moving freely look at the the wiring there 
So I have to resolve that thing before it comes out. You know, this is um, assembled by those people who know, who have no idea, no clue about electronics. They just got a job somewhere in China. So they make a little bit of money to feed their family, but they don't have to understand electronics. And they do the same thing in Canada. They hire these kids who just finish a little course and they get paid 17 bucks an hour. But they don't, they don't have to understand what's inside of this. I see the logical board, the design, schematic diagram. No, no, no. They don't need to know. If they know that, they don't get hired. <laughs> ah, yeah. I mean, if they uh, cannot fill those positions, yeah, they might have somewhere, someone who knows stuff. But since they are not willing to pay, they don't want to hire uh, more qualified people because uh, more qualified people have higher chance to leave for a better job, better pay job. So, but I don't know how things work in China. So this is the little system here. Two transmitters, they both transmit at the same time. Or they, they, you can use to uh, have channel A and channel B active at the same time, which is could be 10 meg megahertz apart or something like that and the receiver can pick up the audio from both but the way I tested or when I tested the, the connector the audio connector it did not suggest that it's like a stereo I mean stereo like a two channel because I when I measured the uh, let's say this connector I measured one pin I could get the audio from both transmitters on the same pin so to me it looked like uh, both pins are shorted together somewhere in the in this connector and I could check just in case you're curious that if this one can be used as a stereo thingy Hey, I need light. I need light. God, can you make some light? Yes, you see the bridge between the two? <laughs> That's funny. That's... Let me point with a screwdriver or something. That one connects to that one. And the other one, the one at the top is ground. So there is no left and right channel. It's just uh, two receivers. They go to one single processing IC, which is not stereo. The way I see it here. Even the, the potentiometer is not stereo. So it would not adjust two channels uh, level it's um, all one channel let me see I have three LEDs here ah three LEDs um, I see that it's changing colors sometimes it turns red sometimes it's green and sometimes it's uh, some sort of a violet like a combination between red and something I don't know it's uh, so three colors but I don't know the meaning because I I don't have the manual. I, uh, this one did not come with the manual. But I see something change. Probably when I have one channel is on color, when I have the other channel is um, different color, when, I'm, when I have both channels, I don't know. I know when there's no connection, no link between the receiver and transmitter, appear to be red. So that's it. It's a bomb bomb G. Bomb G. BG one twenty one U U probably from UHF. So that's a UHF frequency. Um, I'm not sure what's in Canada uh, frequency wise at uh, on that spectrum. So it's no 
Industry Canada label here, no FCC label, like uh, to suggest that you could use this one in the United States or in Canada. Okay, so nothing like that. Um, the power is very low, so it probably 30 meters. Yeah, it could go 30 meters. They say 50, but hmm, who knows? So, talk to you later. Bye bye.